Hello, I'm Courtney Liss Morris and I'm going to talk to you about how we use Avenza in the seismic exploration industry, how it has helped me develop and implement new systems of data collection and delivery regarding mapping, GIS operations and the hazards that face crews while working in difficult and mountainous terrain. In order for you to fully understand this, I need to give you some background history of the systems we previously used and explain what my role consists of while working on a seismic crew. But first, I'd like to share something with you. I wanted to film this presentation out in the field, but due to security issues at my present location, I was told I'm not permitted to shoot video. So here I am in my room on camp. And while the backdrop might not be very exciting, what I'm about to tell you, I'm sure you will find quite interesting. To begin with, I work as a mountaineer, and my role consists of training and supporting crew so they can work safely in steep and extreme terrain. I also work closely with HSE and provide rescue and technical support, but my main responsibility is to map and record all of the mountain hazards on the concession and provide mountain zone maps to the heads of department for planning and support on a daily basis. Before I discovered Avenza, we were using a system that consisted of the mountaineer team recording the mountain zones using the GPS locations for the monitoring equipment used to record the seismic data and the source point locations used to create the seismic signal. These are shown on the maps as coloured dots. In the seismic industry, these are referred to as source and receiver lines and they can vary in length depending on the project specifications. After collecting our data in the field, we would then add our findings to the survey department's CSV coordinate files and this data would then be represented on the maps by changing the colour receiver or source locations. Unfortunately, this method was prone to data entry error, and this posed a problem, because when the client QCs went to the field to check our data, they would occasionally find that the features on the map did not relate correctly to the features on the ground, the cliff in the middle of a field, for instance. So we needed a new system, and this is where Avenza comes in. The mountain zone system of categorization we use is a traffic light system, green, yellow, amber and red and these colours tell the crews where they can safely work with or without the technical support of a mountaineer, what kind of hazards they should be aware of and what kind of specialist PPE and equipment will be required for the task. There are various departments on a seismic crew, all of whom require the support of the mountaineers but more importantly the terrain assessment and zoning data that we collect as the project moves forward enabling them to efficiently plan and request support as and when required from the Mountaineer team. Avenza's draw and measure feature with its choice of colours has enabled me to develop and implement a new system that is not only more accurate in terms of the, where the difficulties start and finish, but it also removes the possibility of data entry error and it's also more user friendly because it allows the heads of department to have all of the mountain zones on the map on their phone rather than having to carry around a printed Excel spreadsheet and a map. And an added bonus is that by using Avenza to draw in my zones, I am also able to create categorised access routes around cliffs and extreme areas of terrain where the crews will also need support. This is something that has never been done before in the seismic industry. I also use the area feature to represent red zones and areas forbidden to all crew, such as cliffs or areas that are too impassable or dangerous even for mountaineers with specialist technical equipment. Finally, and this is the most important aspect of the system, I'm able to transfer the data back to the survey department in real time, mobile and data signal allowing, of course. And this means that the teams on the ground can be constantly updated about the terrain they are moving into and what different types of mountain hazard they can expect to encounter. What this means is that this system is applicable not just to the seismic industry, but also to a multitude of others as well in commercial, private and government sectors not to mention potential military and remote search and rescue operations. Having realised the market potential of this system, I immediately copyrighted the methodology and contacted Avenza to see if it was something they might be interested in, and so, here I am, as a guest speaker, presenting it to you, the user. I have since decided to register my system and set up a company, TerraCat Systems. We also provide various other products and services such as bespoke mapping and GIS, drone surveys, 
and physical technical ground support for, for equipment and personnel. If you would like to get in touch with us, please use the contact details shown on the screen at the end of this video. So, thank you Avenza, and thank you all for listening. I'm looking forward to continuing working with the Avenza team, and I'm excited to see the future developments we can achieve together. Thanks again.